Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna cover free, 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 free cybersecurity projects you must do right now in order to gain an extreme advantage and get hired fast at a very nice cybersecurity role. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So here are some free, 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 free <laughs> cybersecurity projects you can work on to develop your skills and gain that superior advantage. Number one, set up a home lab environment using virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware. Now, this allows you to create isolated networks and practice various security techniques. Number two, analyze network traffic using Wireshark. So capture packets on your home network and practice this identifying different protocols and potential security issues. Number three, configure and use Windows Defender and Windows Firewall on a Windows endpoint. So learn how to properly set up and manage these built-in security tools. Number four, practice using TCP dump for network traffic analysis on Linux systems. And we're gonna go through this a little later, right? Uh, you know, this command line tool is widely used by security professionals. Number five, work through the free Try Hack Me rooms focused on SOC Level 1 and Cyber Defense. These provide hands-on experience with security tools and techniques. Number six, implement a user authentication system with sign up slash login functionality. This integrates multiple security concepts in a practical project. Number seven, create an image a steganography. Peter, put that word on the screen. I'm not even gonna try and type that word. So, so system to hide coded text images. This explores data hiding techniques used in cybersecurity. Number eight, participate in capture the flag CTF competitions. Many are available online for free and provide realistic hacking challenges. Number nine, set up and configure Splunk for log analysis. Splunk offers free training and community additions for learning. Number 10, use Cisco's Network Academy and Packet Tracer to practice network concepts relevant to cybersecurity. Number 11, explore AI-driven uh, threat detection by developing a simple machine learning model to identify potential security anomalies. <laughs> Anomalies. Golly, what's going on with me? So these projects cover a range of cybersecurity skills from network analysis to system hardening to threat detection. They can help you build practical experience and a portfolio to showcase your abilities to potential employers. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. You hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. I ain't playing with you. Hit that subscribe button. So there are many resources out there. Um, a favorite free resource is Try Hack Me. So I'm going to go a little bit more in depth into Try Hack Me. So uh, Try Hack Me offers several beginner friendly cybersecurity projects and develop learning paths that can help you develop uh, essential skills. So number one on Try Hack Me, there's the complete beginner path. This pathway provides core skills required to start your cyber cybersecurity journey. It covers fundamental concepts and hands-on exercises suitable for newcomers. Number two, this is all on Try Hack Me, 25 days of cybersecurity. This room offers a new beginner friendly security challenge every day for 25 days. It's an excellent way to build a consistent learning habit while exploring various cybersecurity topics. Number three, advent of cyber. Similar to the 25 days challenge, this annual event provides daily beginner friendly security challenges leading up to Christmas. It's a fun and interactive way to learn cybersecurity basics. Number four, blue team learning path. After completing the beginner path, you can progress to the blue team learning path, which focuses on defensive security techniques. Number five, beginner level CTF rooms. And that is, you know, try hack, try hack me host numerous capture the flag challenges designed for beginners, allowing you to practice your skills in a gamified environment. Who doesn't like playing games and learning at the same time? I do, I know you do, right? Uh, next, hands-on labs. Try Hack Me provides virtual machines and network simulations accessible through your browser, enabling you to practice with real-world tools and scenarios. Number seven, structured learning paths. The platform offers guided objective-based tasks and challenges that reinforce your skills in a practical environment. The, so now, these projects and learning paths on Try Hack Me are designed to be interactive, fun, and accessible to beginners. 
and they also go to expert level too. So they cover a wide range of topics from basic networking and Linux skills to more advanced security concepts, allowing you to build a solid foundation in cybersecurity. Now, there's also another resource, the Microsoft Windows Defender and Firewall tutorials for free. Yeah. So yes, you can access several free tutorials and resources to learn about Microsoft Windows Defender and Firewall, right? You can do that by, uh, you know, Microsoft offers a free guided project on Coursera called Microsoft Windows Defender and Firewall for Beginners. This two hour course covers locating Windows security settings, running antivirus scans, configuring firewall rules, and much more. Number two, Microsoft Learn provides free training modules on Microsoft Defender XDR, which includes content on Windows Defender. These modules allow you to learn at your own pace and cover various aspects of Microsoft's security solutions. Now, three, uh, there is a comprehensive tutorial series available on Reddit that covers the Microsoft Defender Cloud Suite, including its features for Endpoint Identity, Office 365, and Cloud App Protection. Number four, Microsoft also offers free virtual training sessions through Microsoft Virtual Training, where you can learn about Defender and other security products from instructors in live or on-demand formats. Number five, the Microsoft Tech Community is a free resource where you can connect with professionals and peers to discuss the latest updates, practices, and ask questions about Windows Defender and Firewall. So now let's get into TCP Dump. I told you, right? There are many beginner-friendly projects on TCP Dump. No, so, uh, yes, there are several beginner-friendly you know, friendly projects you can undertake using TCP Dump to develop your network analysis and cybersecurity skills. Number one, analyze your home network traffic, right? Set up TCP Dump to capture traffic on your home network interface and analyze the types of traffic flowing through it. This will help you understand the normal patterns of network activity in your environment. Number two, HTTP traffic analysis. Use TCP Dump to capture and examine HTTP traffic. Look for user agents, common HTTP methods like the get, comma, post, and analyze the content of web re requests and responses. Uh, number three, detect uh, port scanning. Configure TCP Dump to identify potential port scanning activities by looking for patterns of connection attempts to multiple ports from a single source IP. Number four, monitor specific application traffic. Focus on capturing traffic for a particular application or service like DNS, SMTP, and SSH to understand its network behavior and protocol specifics. Number five, investigate suspicious domain traffic. That's a nice one. Use TCP dump to monitor and analyze traffic to slash from specific domains that you suspect might be malicious or compromised. Number six, capture and analyze SMB traffic. Uh, you know, set up TCP dump to capture SMB, uh, you know, that server message block traffic, which is commonly used for file sharing in Windows networks. And, you know, this can help you understand how file transfers and network resource access occur. Number seven, lastly, identify clear text passwords. Create a project to search for and identify any clear text passwords being transmitted over your network. This highlights the importance of encryption and secure protocols. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.